Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this pro tip video, we are checking for vacuum leaks. So what is a vacuum leak? A vacuum leak is basically fresh air getting inside the area where you want to create vacuum. In my example, I have this vacuum bag with my backing board inside, I created vacuum. And uh, for now there is no air coming inside, but let's say if I have a little puncture on the bag or if my fittings on the pump are not fitted properly, that means I'm going to have fresh air coming in and spoiling that vacuum. So here is a few ways how to check for that. Number one, take a look at your vacuum gauge. That is your most uh, important clue whether you have a vacuum leak or not. I'm going to begin by saying that you will always get a minor vacuum leak somewhere. Uh, so for example, in, uh, I did an experiment earlier today and in five hours, basically the whole vacuum dropped when I turned off the pump. So you're always going to have a little vacuum, but what you're looking for is once the pump stops working, the needle should remain in its position for quite a number of minutes. And I'm going to demonstrate right now by letting some air into the bag and forcing the pump to uh, engage. So here we are at 22 inches of mercury and the needle is steady. So that means we don't have any leaks. But let's assume we did. Now we have to isolate whether it's coming from the bag or from the fittings. Uh, I have this little valve and when I shut it off, create vacuum and the vacuum holds steady. That means all the fittings are fitted properly. And if I open up the valve and I still have a pressure uh, drop or vacuum drop, that means the leak is somewhere within the bag. And here is how to check for the leak on your bag. Number one is listening. Uh, if you have a puncture, you're always gonna hear that little hissing sound when the fresh air comes inside the bag. I mean, you remember when I uh, turned this one uh, a little loose and we're gonna hear it right now. You might be able to hear something like this. But depending on your environment, if you're in a noisy environment, you may not be able to hear that. Uh, also, it depends on your hearing as well. I mean, I've been listening to heavy metal for quite a number of years and probably my hearing is not as good as it used to be. <laughs> uh, so that's why I rely on my next method, which is using rubbing alcohol. Uh, what I do is, if I suspect a leak somewhere, I just douse it a little bit in the rubbing alcohol, create a little puddle like this. And of course spread it through the area. And if there was a leak somewhere over there, uh, basically the air pressure will force the alcohol inside the bag and that means I have confirmed my uh, my suspicion of the vacuum leak there. And the good thing about the alcohol is that you take a clean rag and you rub it off, you have cleaned the area immediately. Uh, you can do this exercise with water, uh, but then with water you need to do a little bit of a cleanup afterwards. So with alcohol you just clean the immediate, <laughs> the area is cleaned immediately and you apply your uh, masking tape or duct tape or whatever tape you have on hand. Uh, you don't really need anything fancy aside from tape because the air pressure will force that leak sealed uh, once, you, uh, once you put the tape on top of it. And that's it. That's how you check for vacuum leaks. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.